On the eve of the Battle of Bolivia, Mr. Jordan, New Zealand's High Commissioner in Britain, shown with Brigadier Falconer, inspected New Zealand troops, waiting and ready in Egypt for the call to the Western Desert. Warrior of the last war and warrior of the days of peace, Old Phil, known thus where nicknames mean affection, saw rank upon eager rank of soldiers, impatient for the day when parades would be over and the job begun. He saw a great and magnificent gathering of men, splendidly arrayed in this splendid spectacle. Speaking for proud New Zealand, he said to them, I am impressed by your soldierly bearing and the look in your faces. He saw men marching, platoons, companies, battalions, men and more men, sweating in heat, dusty, thirsty, many miles from green New Zealand, the past put behind them, the future unknown. But he saw too the look in their faces and he knew that these were the men for the job. Not yet so close to gunfire, but getting closer, we can sometimes take time off to prove we're human. Changed from khaki to flannels, men from Trentham and Waiuru meet at cricket. That's Pritchard, New Zealand's best fast bowler. Galishan, New Zealand rep spin bowler. Here's Roundtree, first class New Zealand wicketkeeper. Donnelly's a New Zealand rep. Stuart Wilson, captain Trentham's team. He and Donnelly have found many famous players in the army. While they played, Japan's bombers were loading up, and the air was soon to sound with news of a different sort. But they had their game, and good luck to them. Thanks to Pritchard, Waiuru had the better of a drawn game. That's Ethorn, down from Waiuru. Jack Lamerson's broadcasting. And watch this. How's that? He's out. General Akinlek, Middle East commander, arrives to inspect the first brigade of New Zealand troops formed in Egypt. For bravery in the field, he decorates three New Zealand soldiers. Brigadier Ingalls reads the citations. The Victoria Cross for Lieutenant Upham on the left. The DSO for Lieutenant Colonel Kippenberger. Here Upham receives his medal and ribbon. Kippenberger's award is for handling a composite brigade at Maleme in Crete. Major Lynch receives the Military Cross. They have proved what courage alone can do. Back now in the Libyan battle, they are showing what courage is worth with arms in support. Thank you.